All right, last example. So this one's got uh, negative numbers in it. Um, and it looks like subtraction, but negative numbers. So I illustrated this with algebra tiles again. So we got five minus two X equals negative three, right? I'm not gonna actually do the whole problem by using algebra tiles, but I think especially for the first step, this is very helpful. So five, so I got the positive five blocks in dark blue, minus two X. Okay, so I got the yellows, those are negative. Here's our key up here, so the blue squares, those are positive ones. Yellows are negative Xs, so since there's negative two X, I'll have two of those yellow X rectangles. And on the other side of the teeter-totter, uh, the reds are negative ones. So since it's negative three, I got three of them. All right, so I'm going to keep the equation over on the right edge here so we can see just what's happening algebraically along with this illustration. Okay, so the thing I really want to make clear about this example is most of the time what people, the most common mistake people make is they see this minus sign between the five and the term that has the X in it. And they say, look, I know I'm supposed to do the opposite in order to get rid of the five. And since it says minus, that means the opposite will be adding. And so then they add five, try to cancel out the five here by adding five. And that is not what we're supposed to do because um, the minus sign is actually attached to the two. Okay, and with the algebra tiles, we can see that we've got those two negative x's, right? It is a negative 2x. The 5 is not negative in any way. I have five positive blue blocks there. Okay, so if I'm going to try to get the x by itself on one side of the teeter-totter, I need to get rid of those five blue blocks. The way I do that is by subtracting the 5. So minus 5 on both sides of my equal sign. And if I do that, then these positive five and the minus five, those are gonna add together to make zero. So it's gonna cancel. The negative two X is still here. The negative sign, or we might've wanted to call it a minus sign to begin with. Really, mind the words minus and negative are interchangeable. So we could have said five minus two X, which is what we did say. And now I'm going to call it a negative 2x, uh, it, just because it sounds better with the, the sentence. It doesn't actually mean anything different. And then on the other side of the equal sign, I had negative 3. I subtracted 5. So that is going to give me negative 8. All right. So my algebra tile illustration, um, I'm going to need to subtract 5. I'll just uh, take a second here to get my illustration caught up. So I've already done this on the algebra equation, but when I take these five negatives, drop them on top of the five positives, the positives and negatives are going to like add together to make zero. So there's going to be nothing left. They're all gone, right? So um, before I do that, I need to have these over here also. I got to do the same thing on both sides. Now I can delete all of that. So I've got negative 2x in yellow, and now I have eight negative uh, red blocks. Okay, so if I want to find out what x is equal to, one thing that is obvious from the illustration with algebra tiles, I need to divide this into two groups. If I do that, I'm closer, but those are still going to be negative x's. So I don't actually want to have negative x. I want to have positive x. Uh, and so I'm going to I'm going to leave off with the illustration at this point because it's going to take more time than what it is worth and, and just say I need to divide it into two groups but it needs to have a negative two I need to divide the negative two out of there so I end up with a positive x so that's easier to do just with the algebra equation so I'm going to divide by negative two whoops where did my divide go there's my divide and then multiplying by positive by negative two dividing by negative two those are going to cancel so I'll have just the x left on the left side Equal sign comes straight down, negative eight divided by negative two, it's gonna be positive four. All right, and we could have done that with algebra tiles. Uh, you know, we break into two groups. 
Uh, oh. Somehow break into two groups, reorganize so that they look the same. All right, so I got negative x equals negative four both in in, uh, in both groups, and then we could change the signs of both of them. So instead of being a uh, negative x, we can change that to a positive x, and instead of these being negatives, I can change those to the positive color. And so I had a positive x and positive four, and that's the same answer we got. But that's like uh, that's like a bunch of like illustration tricks and that's uh, not really helpful for understanding what algebra needs to happen. So algebra tiles are helpful in many cases and in some cases uh, not as helpful. So anyway, that's that. <laughs>